Yo yeah, guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to start what's going to be a new video series for me. And basically I'm going to be listening to debates live and breaking them down live and just giving my honest reaction to them. Um, I plan on doing this with a few other videos and this wasn't actually my first choice. Um, but it's a rather short video so I figured this would actually be a good opportunity for me to do it. So how I expect the flow of this to go is I'll listen to it a little bit. Um, I might cut out some portions of the video that I think are relevant in post-editing. Um, but other than that, I'm going to listen to the entirety of the debate um, and give my opinion on all of the points, um, basically who I think's winning, and maybe give what I think a point that could be made or uh, how a point should be argued, some kind of hypothetical like that. Um, but yeah, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, this is a debate that happened pretty recently between two popular debaters, specifically Six Pads. Um, he's a popular Discord debater, and Arrow, who is also a popular Discord debater and uh, apparently a TikTok personality now. Um, but yeah, Arrow is going to be repping Part 1 Heroism, and um, Six Pads will be using Part 1 Itachi. Um, other than that, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Why don't you judge this now or later? Uh, I don't really know any judges in here. You just want to choose an after then? Sure. I just yes. love the truth. I'll be listening to this. Guys, right, so why do you think that, uh, right, you thought you would? Uh, because, uh, what? Because, uh, yeah, like I said Hello? earlier, Itachi skills over Orochimaru who is stated equal to Hiroshima. Yeah, do you have the statement where they're equal? Yeah, I got you. I'm gonna send any scan to them. So presumably he's going to be using like the feats of uh, Atachi Genjutsuing um, Orochimaru from part one and then he's going to Use, I think it's the data book statement where here is instead to be equal to Orochi Moro. Um, I don't know how much I agree with that statement, just because there is a lot of things to suggest that here Zen was like mentally holding back against Orochi Moro. Um, but then again, there's also some things to suggest Orochi Moro was mentally holding back as well. Like there's that uh, image where he was crying and stuff. So uh, yeah, it might be some suggestion that. Uh, in fact, I've seen, like, narrative arguments to suggest that this was Orochimaru's way of coming to terms with, like, facing his old master, things like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, that statement might hold some validity. Is there... Where does it say it? It's uh, right there under the picture of here. It says the two shinobi were equally matched in the battle scene in this. Okay, the two shinobi were equally matched in the battle scene endless. And then we see that they weren't equally matched in the battle ends. Okay, why are they not equally matched? Because the moment that Hiruzen begins fighting with his full power, he blitzes him. He rips his soul out. He blitzes him? Can you show me that? Yeah. Yep. All right, I'm just going to skip through a little bit just to see if we can get some actual debating. Six Pads needs to definitely improve his video quality. This looks horrible. Can't even see anything. All right, I'm going to put some free work.
All right, I'm gonna put some for you right there. Sure. I must have missed the point, but I'm not gonna go back and listen through a bunch of silence. So hopefully, he just posts it and explains it. So they like clash one another, right? They can keep up with each other in terms of combat speed. Yeah, and then you see how uh, fucking what's his name, Sarutobi comes, and then by the time he realizes what's going on, oh, Peterson you, you already has his arrow. fucking like soul in, his, in the palm of his hand. Yeah, you, you oh, just like do you, do you see the whole exchange? Yeah, but you cut you out whenever that. you were like um whatever you were just saying. Okay. So they, they have an exchange. Here's is able to knock his sword away, and then before he's able to react, he already has his soul in his hand. Mm, well, no, okay, well, here. So we see them, like, keep up with each other in terms of, like, hand-to-hand, or not hand-to-hand combat, but kinjutsu, right? And then... Sure, and then he, like, he, this sword gets away. knocked out of his hand. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard. So, so we see the sword mm-hmm. get knocked away, and then here's and uses, like, Enma to go at Orochimaru. He, like, Reacts to Enma, of course, but then like Hiruzen gets up on him. We see Orochimaru. Yeah, before it, before Orochimaru can react. Okay, so just to give my interpretation of what's going on in this scan, um, so the first thing we see, um, as shown earlier, uh, let me see, let me find it real quick, um, right here, um, you can see they're like clashing with each other. So it does display relativity at least in combat speed, um, and then right here. Um, basically, we can see uh, here is in shooting Inma at Orochimaru. Um, Inma is then able to react to the staff and grab a hold of it and here is its arm. Um, but basically, here is in was using um, this staff as not in, as not the actual threat. This is like a common thing in Naruto. Like Naruto will do it with his shadow clones. He'll send in like some shadow clones first to distract his opponent, and they'll focus on them. Like with Kakuzu, for instance, and uh, then the actual threat will get them like from behind or something like this or in this case um orochimaru's side um the reason you'll see these exclamation marks here is because orochimaru is surprised at hirazen um it's because he used the staff to divert his attention away so i don't actually think this constitutes um evidence that hirazen is faster than orochimaru um because orochimaru was able to like defend against this attack right um and hirazen has no incentive to hold back in this scenario at all right um he he would want this attack to go full speed right because then it forces or because if it's too slow right then um orochimaru will casually be able to react to this and also probably react to this so he wants it to go full power not only because if it does work and it hits him then he's good right but he's not expecting this to work he's sending this out in order to distract here's and so then he could tag him down here um so yeah, and also we saw like earlier, unless Hiruzen was just like randomly holding back in this exchange as well, which I don't think he is. Um, and right now they're comparing the physical attributes of speed, so it's not necessarily like Hiruzen knocking a sword out of his hand is impressive, but not for not really in regards to speed, but more in regards to skill. Um, so it could just mean that Hiruzen is uh, more skillful in combat, or it could just be the fact that uh, Inma is able to overpower him or something like that but uh yeah i don't think it it this still does display relativity in speed anyway though to react he already has his soul in his hand mm, well no okay well here so we see them like keep up with each other in terms of like hand in or not hand in combat but kinjutsu right and then sure, and then he, like, he this sword, sword gets away. knocked out of his hand yeah, yeah I, I heard so so we see the sword mm-hmm. get knocked away and then here's and uses like enma to go at orochimaru he like reacts to Enma, of course, but then, like, Hiruzen gets up on him, we see Orochimaru becomes Yeah, before, aware before Orochimaru can react, yes. No, but we see him become aware of it. Yeah, but his soul has already been grabbed. That's fine, but all he used to get up on him was yeah, travel he speed. he couldn't react, right. But all he used to get up on him was travel speed. Yeah, but he still couldn't react to him, is what I'm saying. But we see him react. He, he can't react, he, 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 clear, he clearly can't. Because by the time he... Okay, I think they're using two different definitions of react here. 
Um, so Six Pads is saying that he is like mentally reacting to him. Like he sees the attack. He's just not physically able to react, which is what Arrow's arguing. He's not physically able to react in this scenario, which I agree. He's not physically able to react here, or he probably would have blocked this attacker, subverted it, subverted it somehow. Um, but I still think the reason he wasn't able to subvert it wasn't due to speed, like sheer speed, but rather just due to the combat tactics that Hirzen is employing on him. Able to react to Hirzen. He hasn't already pulled off the Reaper Dex to you. No. Because yes. What are you talking about? That's literally what happens on the panel. But I see here, here's in right. He like gets up on Oro. Then in the next panel. And he, he like has the, and he has this soul in his hand. Correct. Okay, but even if this like was the case, right? This would just be travel speed. They can keep up with and each he's, other. And he's, he's able to Kenji. blitz him. He's able to blitz him still. Well, Orochimaru is focused on Inma. But we've already said. <laughs> so what do you say? You, wait. So now you're saying that he's. So now you're saying that it, he was focused on Enma. So which mm -hmm. are you saying now? That he was distracted. You yeah. saying he's distracted now? Exactly. Okay. So yeah, I actually agree with Six Pads. He just basically made the argument that I just made a moment ago. Um, he said he's claiming that he is distracted, um, which I do think is a valid defeater. Um, as for the, uh, it's travel speed thing. That's a little bit weird. Considering it's kind of just like Hirozen's arm shooting out to grab Orochimaru. Like, that's also combat speed. It's not just travel speed. So, I do disagree with that. Um, but, yeah, like I said, like, I don't think any of this matters because the reason Orochimaru gets tagged here, because, um, you, you know, like, e even in situations where people are evenly matched, right? Like, um, people who have similar speeds, like, even like UFC fighters, there's tons of UFC fighters that have, like, similar speeds, and they're still able to tag each other, and sometimes they're not able to react just due to, like, mental distractions or, like, all kinds of different scenarios can play out, skill differences, things like that. So, just, like, outright tagging someone, right? Like, we've seen multiple situations already, already kind of, like, in this little blurry panel where we've seen them react. We saw in this panel where we see Orochimaru react. So, clearly, Orochimaru is capable of reacting to him. This just seems to be the outlier panel, but I think there's a pretty clear explanation as to why he's not able to react. I already outlined it earlier, but the distraction point that Six Pads is arguing right now, I think, is more favorable than Eros. Okay, so you you realize that all this is happening while Heroes is not only... Enema is too heavy for him to hold, but he's also has his chakra split up amongst the shadow clones. His chakra split up amongst the shadow clones. What are you trying to imply that he's like weakened? He's weakened. Uh, why do you think like splitting chakra be a shadow clone? Because the Anbu be? says that. The yeah, Anbu and Orochimaru like... says that using the shadow clone jutsu weakened. No, he, what he says is that like uh, what you want to call it? basically using the shadow clone jutsu. It hears his old age would be like throwing away chunks of chakra when he doesn't really like have that chakra to spare in his old age, right? So, um, what does that mean? Here, like a decrease in chakra. Could you understand like shinobi don't have access to 100 percent of their chakra all the time, correct? Yes, of course. Okay, they're not so using. They're, uh, they're not exhausting 100 percent of their chakra with every jutsu, right? Yeah, yeah, but they like they don't mm -hmm. even have access to the 100 percent. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're there. What are you talking about? The, the gates and whatnot, right? Of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So then mm -hmm. a decrease in chakra doesn't necessarily have to make you weaker. So you think that a decrease in chakra doesn't make you weaker? No. Yeah. So I actually agree with this scenario. Um, we've seen multiple situations in Naruto where characters are able to use like chakra and still go full power. Like in the situation with Casey of Naruto and the Raikage, right? Like he was obviously using chakra to even get to the battlefield in the first place. Um, and Naruto throughout the fight, or even the Raikage in that scenario, like he was using chakra in his lightning cloak one state the entire time. Right. And, um, was constantly like moving, using chakra to battle Naruto. And then at the end of the fight, which is when Naruto dodges him, he's, he, it's, he states that he's using his fastest attack. Right. So obviously if just using chakra made you weaker, it wouldn't be his fastest attack. Right. He'd be slower than his fastest ability. Um, like, I do know, like, how Chakra works, it is directly tied to stamina. Um, it's tied to your physical stamina and your spirit, like, your physical um, capabilities and your spiritual capabilities, right? Um, but, like, characters like Naruto, right, he has a giant Chakra pool. Um, but he, as Six Pad says, he doesn't, has a, he doesn't have access to the full 100%. Um, so he can use portions of his Chakra, but he can keep reusing that same portion over and over and over. 
right? So he can still be the same speed for a really long time because of that portion of chakra, right? That's like when he, in KCM, he'll like fall out of it randomly, right? Because he accidentally uses too much chakra. It's not like he gets weak, progressively weaker over time. It's more like just like a sudden drop off, right? And it's because he ran over, uh, ran out of chakra to, ref to refill his limit that he was using. He was specifically going at one pace, right? And once he wasn't able to keep that pace anymore, he would just fall out of it. It's not like he just slowly over time gets weaker. It's really sudden. Um, and you know, that might not be the case for all shinobi. Like I'm sure there are situations where sometimes people just have really small chakra pools. And so like even using a small amount does like make, uh, make them progressively get weaker at a rapid pace kind of like kakashi like even using a small g or not a small jutsu but just using a couple jutsu in general will make him weak really quickly but that's just because he doesn't actually have that large of a pull at least in comparison to other characters in naruto uh, but yeah like uh just shirazen was no were like renowned for having a lot of uh chakra now this isn't as well known but he was basically known for his shadow clones um uh, that's Kind of why, like, he was thinking it was, like, pitiful that he only could do three during the fight. Because he actually used to use Shadow Clones a lot. Um, and sh as if you guys know anything about Shadow Clones, they require a lot of Chakra to do. That's why most people can't do them. Kakashi can summon, like, 20 of them. Um, and uh, Kakashi has a lot of Chakra in comparison to most Shinobi. But, like, in comparison to the high tiers, he doesn't have a lot. But even just using, like, 20, he, he specifically notes the reason he doesn't use it or use Shadow Clones too often is because they use a lot of Chakra. So, Hiruzen has a lot of Chakra. Uh, and I know he doesn't in this instance because he's weakened. Um, weakened as in, like, he's old. So, he doesn't have as much Chakra as he used to or at least can't access it as well as he used to. Um, but... Yeah, so it's just, like, kind of unquantifiable or, like, unmeasurable to the degree that he is weakened, if at all, right? Like, this just might be his limit, and he's still not weakened. He could just be he could just be using the chakra threshold set, right? So, like, kind of like with Casey Naruto, he's going at this one pace, and he can keep it going for so long before he falls out of it, right? So, we I don't actually know if he's moving slower here or if he's um, going weaker than he normally could. But it's possible. Let's see what the arguments they make are. All the time, no. I think it needs to be. All right. When do you when do you think amount. when do you think a decrease in chakra? Okay. What amount? Uh, it probably like differs from shinobi to shinobi. Okay, so you don't know. You have no. You have no quantification. No. All right. So I think that just however many shadow clones that Sarutobi makes is is significant enough because the Anbu comments on it. What's your yeah. counter to that? No, what the Ambu says is that he's throwing away chunks of chakra, right? Right, showing away, he's throwing it away, chunks of chakra that he's going to need, right? Uh, that he couldn't use, like, later in the fight, yeah. But that doesn't mean it's making him fatigue. It's just like, okay, here's him can't fight at this level yeah, I'll for get long. You, I'll get you the thing that asserts their fatigue. I'll get you. Sure, sure, sure. I have evidence to that. Also, how much chakra do you think they put in the shadow clones? It says it's spread out equally amongst them. Yeah, among the clones. So if he uh, clones, if he had no, it said uh, is it amongst the clone or is it among the the user? Uh, from I what I remember, the, the, clone. the only thing I remember is like uh, what you call? Oh, I just had the flex Niji's that he has all the viz chapters. His statement is that they're like split evenly amongst the clones. I just Google look at this it. guy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it just splits your chakra in half, so if I'm not mistaken. The, or I, It's actually okay. not just his chakra. It's, it, it's not, I think if I remember correctly, it's not splitting your chakra in half. It's splitting your chakra manipulation in half because each um, shinobi has a certain amount of chakra they can manipulate at any given time, right? Like Naruto is not able to utilize, like as Sixpad stated earlier in the video, he's not able to utilize his full 100%, right? None of his jutsu he could literally none of, none of his jutsu at all will be able to take up like his entire chakra pool just none of them none of them take that much chakra right he has such a massive pool that no matter how, whatever jutsu he uses it's not going to absorb all of his chakra right um so basically I, I think that in this case it would logically follow that um it would only split the amount of chakra that you actually have to use in half right because they're not going to be able to manipulate their entire chakra pools in any other instance except this one like i feel like that would uh be severely unlikely i think it is literally just um 
how much chakra exactly you can manipulate is being split in half. So that would make more sense to me. Says shortening his lifespan. I think that's why I think it's fatigue. Like it's directly his lifespan. Head. Yeah, like it's shortening his lifespan. Strange. Never seen that. You can show me. I just posted it. Okay. I knew there was a reason. I let me go look up the shadow clone feet. What's Orochimaru referencing here? Is he just is he saying this because he used the shadow clone jutsu or because of the Reaper Death Seal? This is before he's used the Reaper Death Seal. It is okay. Yeah. He uses the Reaper Death Seal, uh, the next page. What chapter is this? Read the font, it's so blurry. <laughs> I see Shadow Doppelgangers, though. Okay, so you think that he's saying, okay, since Hirzin uses the Shadow Clone Jutsu here, that the Shadow Clone Jutsu is like shortening his lifespan? Yeah, that's what he says. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah, I think he's referring to the fact that Hirzin is throwing away these chunks of chakra, which would shorten his lifespan because he's going to get beaten quicker. No, I think you. I think that's just too much assumption. I'm gonna invoke another Aquas Razor. Mm hmm. You're adding too many assumptions. Okay, but even if it is shortening his lifespan, right? Is this taking away from like um? Say like okay, if Hears is supposed to live to eighty, right? Does he now live to seventy-seven? Like, what does it mean when it's, like, shortening his lifespan? Because this doesn't have to mean he's fatigued, either. Okay, so, um, shortening your lifespan, it, it's kind of a weird way of putting that, because unless the chakra draining is going to kill Hiruzen, like, how much chakra he's using will kill him, um, I don't think that has any inherent meaning that it's, it's, it's making him weakened, like he's actually moving slower than he normal. Like, obviously, it's weakening him in the, the sense that his body isn't going to be able to survive as long. But does that mean he's going to be able, does that mean he's, like, moving slower during the fight? I don't think so. Um, I don't think he's going to, like, use these shadow clones and then move slower after this, right? Um, I think his body is just not going to be able to maintain that pace for as long, like how I described earlier. Um, I think it's just basically he'll be going at this pace, but since he is going at this pace, his lifespan is going to lower because of it, right? Because he's not going to be able to hold the pace as long. Um, that 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 would be what I would interpret the statement as. What do you think it means? Uh, like I just said, you know, like what what is it referring to? Like is it? That he could right, I've already, I've already told you what I think. I've already told you why I think that. So what do you think? Yeah, you provide me a different interpretation with evidence. Okay. Um. Quickly, uh, I do think that Six Pads won the speed point basically because he was able to show that. I don't know if it gets brought up in the rest of the video, but he was able to like state that there was a distraction at hand, which caused him not to be able to blitz him. Right. Um, the travel speed point was kind of irrelevant. Um, I don't think that really got established too well, so I'm not really going to account for that. But either way, I do think that um, Six Pads did show relative speed um, as supported with the data book statement as well. Okay. Um, well, I think that since, what you want to call, since you know we don't have access to 100% of their chakra at any given time anyway, that this loss in uh, chakra doesn't have to make him fatigue. So that would just be like um, the support for my interpretation. Wait, that it's just that, his that, that's that is, that's, that's not saying anything. He didn't say anything this time. Like, mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? 
Oh, because they don't have 100% access to their chakra, that doesn't necessarily mean critique. What does that mean? Like that, that, that I'm saying that a uh, loss in chakra that you doesn't didn't come to a logical mean. conclusion there. Yeah, I don't think Arrow's picking up on what he's trying to say. Um, to be fair, Six Pads doesn't explain it very well either. Um, what he, what Six Pads is trying to argue is that um, just losing chakra doesn't necessarily mean anything because they also don't have access to 100% of their chakra. What that means is is um, since they're not able to access their full chakra pools, they can still maintain the p pace that they're currently at. They just won't be able to do it for as long, right? Um, so think of like a pool of water, you know? Uh, well, I'm not going to give an analogy. It just that what, how I described it was fine. So yeah, just he's not, they're not using 100% of their chakra. So just draining chakra outside of the threshold that they can use doesn't necessarily mean they're getting weakened. All it will mean is they won't be able to keep that pace for as long. I'm saying that a loss in chakra, since they don't have access to all of it anyway, doesn't have to mean that he's fatigued. I agree. All right, but this isn't just a normal loss of chakra. It's directly taken away from his lifespan. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're discussing. Yeah, and you're saying... So that why, do you, a, why do you think... Yeah, why... Okay, uh, so it is just a normal loss of chakra, because Pearson's not doing anything special. All he's doing is the Shadow Doppelganger. So it is just a normal loss of chakra. The reason it's taking away from his lifespan is probably because it's taking away from the amount of time you can keep his pace going. I know I've said that kind of over and over, um, but yeah, that's that would be the reason why it's happening. Not because it's like this; these shadow clones are have some kind of like life and death manipulation. You know, like Hirsen's using special shadow clones. Like I, I would, that would probably be stated if that were the case. So it's literally just his lifespan isn't going to last as long because he's not going to be able to keep pace for as long, right? I think that's a pretty fair interpretation of what's going on. Why do you think that it's not making him fatigue? Okay, well, I just gave, like, my reason why, and then I gave, you like, gave the a reason as to why the loss of chakra wouldn't make you fatigue. This obviously uh -huh. isn't just the normal yeah, chakra I gave, loss. I gave and an you also said, you also said, you also said earlier that a certain amount of chakra loss can make you Mm -hmm. So why is this not the threshold? Where do you think? Where do you think you start getting fatigued? Well, you're saying that he is fatigued. I'm... So right now, what Arrow's trying to do to Six Pads is trying to catch him in this like rhetorical trap, where he's trying to force Six Pads to answer exactly where this threshold would lie, because he thinks that Six Pads doesn't have an answer, right? Which I don't think Six Pads does either. I don't think there is an answer for that question. Um, and he's basically just trying to give get him to give an answer right because it's a trap because if he does give an answer let's say he does give a number he won't be able to prove that um that number hasn't been reached or has been reached right like there's no way he could connect those two things because there is no statement on it um there's nothing to do that so he'll win if he if he does give an answer and if he doesn't give an answer then he's basically just going to say that he has um nothing to stand on then he'll be making baseless claims right like uh it's which isn't a solid argument like in this case i don't think that um you're going to be able to quantify the threshold at which people um can use chakra before they're weakened usually that's not stated right like there's instances where it is with like kakashi where he says like i can use shidori four or four or six times i can't remember before my uh threshold is is reached right so we know that he can keep that pace he can keep the chidori pace six times or four times and then he's done right he can do it four times and he's done or he can use Kamui twice and then he's done right that's his threshold before he gets weakened um we saw it with casey and naruto it's kind of more hard to quantify with him because there's no direct statement of like how long he can use it but we did see him on like panels and in the anime of how long he was able to use it so you can maybe quantify it with him um but with here it's just come like basically completely unquantifiable there's just like no way to measure at the threshold uh, when he'll eventually drop um, right now, Six Pads really needs to address Arrow's point that this isn't just, like, normal chakra consumption. Like, this is, like, life and death manipulation. Like, this is some sort of crazy shadow clone that is, like, directly affecting Hiruzen's lifespan, causing him to be weakened throughout the fight. Like, you know, we were talking about, he was talking about Occam's Razor earlier and how his claim required less assumptions. I don't think so. I think this argument requires way more assumptions. So I think Occam's Razor actually works against Arrow in this scenario, but let's continue to see where Six Pads goes after this. I'm just asking you questions. Stop, okay. talk, stop talking about me. I want to know more about what you're saying because you haven't elaborated on it. Okay, basically, right, him shortening his lifespan doesn't have to be in reference to what you call 
You're saying like the shortening what lifespan is in reference to fatigue, yes? Be yeah, rhetoric, my misunderstanding. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm saying that doesn't have to be in reference to fatigue. It can also be in reference to the fact that he's um, like say was gonna live to 80, but now he can only live to like 75, because Shinobi don't have. Okay, so I guess uh, I don't know how Six Pads gonna go about this. He's saying that like. It's not him being... So Arrow thinks that these Shadow Clones are just fatiguing him. But that doesn't really answer, like, why they're affecting his lifespan either. So, like, he sure say he's fatigued, but why does that, like, mean that it's shaving um, chunks from his lifespan, right? Um, I do think, like, the only viable interpretation here is just that, like, he won't be able to last as long in the fight, which will cause him to die quicker, right? That, that would be the only thing that makes sense to me. Of course, unless these Shadow Clones literally are just, like, life and death Shadow Clones, right? Um, but Arrow just kind of, like, shifted and is, like, now arguing that uh, it's just fatigue that, that he, they're referencing. That he's just becoming more fatigued. Which, in a sense, he is, right? He's losing Chakra, which will eventually make him more fatigued. He's running out of Chakra, but I don't think that means he's necessarily dropping yet, right? Um, I think people can keep going at that same pace, so... Uh, Six Pads is arguing some really weird stuff right now. Like, he's trying to say that um, by shaving years off his lifespan, they think... I mean, he's basically just saying that by shaving or by uh, losing his lifespan, he's just literally losing his lifespan from using these Shadow Clones. Like, he's shaving years off of his life from, like, 80 to 77 is what he's trying to argue, which I think is also kind of just baseless, like, Again, like, life and death shadow clones, so I guess they're both trying to argue it. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. Access to all of their chocolate anyway. So a decrease doesn't have to make you fatigued. I agree with that argument. Okay, what is an instance where, where do you think Shinobi start getting fatigued? At what point? Uh, well, like I said earlier, it would just be, like, on a Shinobi to Shinobi basis. Okay, probably. so you have no, you have nothing. Why do yeah. you think... Wait, can you give me another... So, example? again, this is, like, the rhetorical trap arrow setting. He's saying, like, every time Six Pat said it, it's not really, like, a, a thing you can quantify. It's kind of, like, a shinobi to shinobi thing. Arrow's like, okay, so you have nothing. Well, that's not nothing. That is something, right? That just means that, like, it just depends upon the shinobi, right? Um, so, he does have something there, right? He is saying that there is a threshold. We just don't know where that threshold lies, um, it's just dependent upon the shinobi. And then Arrow's like, okay, so you're not giving me a quantification. But in this case, I don't really think he needs a quantification. Like, why does he need to quantify the threshold at which here is re weakened? I think that's Arrow's job to quantify that, right? He needs to prove that the threshold at which here is weakened are these two shadow clones. Like, once he uses these two sh shadow clones, um, he is now weakened, right? That's what Arrow has to argue. So he actually has to demonstrate um what the threshold at which they're going to be weakened is it's not six pads obligation to do that um so yeah i don't necessarily think that he's weakened in this case and i think six pads is arguing it better than arrow at this point but uh right now six pads really needs to address the whole um these clones are like fatiguing him he needs to like i understand he said like the draining chakra thing and that's correct and i think he supported that well um but he really needs to go on and, like, elaborate on what these Shadow Clones are actually doing to him and whether or not Arrow is able to prove. He needs to he needs to sh stop letting Arrow shift the burden to him, and he needs to show Arrow it's his obligation to do this. That's what Six Pads needs to do. He needs to force Arrow to show that he's actually weakened in this scenario because just saying that his lifespan is going to be shaved off, right? Like, for instance, Guy, when he's in the Eighth Gate, he, you know, he's getting lifespan shaved away from him, you know? But he's at his most powerful. Okay, so there's a scenario where um, his lifespan is severely um, lost, right? But he's way more powerful than he was before. And this could be the case with Hiruzen, right? Like, his lifespan is severely lost, but he's also just, like, using way more chakra and being way more powerful than he normally is. So I think that could be an applicable scenario here. And what Six Pads needs to do, he really needs to push Arrow on that and try and get him to do this. This debate seems really short. We're only 15 minutes in, but we only got about 10 minutes left, and that's it. But let's just continue. The instance where a G2 kicks off years from your life. Can't you just know your basis? Okay, Probably. so you have no, you have nothing. Why do you think, what, can you give me another instance where a G2 kicks off years from your life? Can you give me another instance where the Shadow Clone Jutsu takes off years from your life? 
No, I don't think so. Okay, so I'm just going to dismiss that point then. So he's asking Six Pads to show an instance where a Shadow Clone takes away years from someone's life. There's obviously no other instance where that occurs. Um, but I don't really know why Arrow's asking the question. Like, what is that? Why does that help him? You know, and then he says, oh, I'm going to dismiss your point then. Um, I don't think you can dismiss a point based on that. Uh, there's That doesn't refute what Six Pads said. Six Pads said that um, a drain in chakra doesn't mean that they're um, weakened, and he also argued that um, losing a uh, lifespan doesn't necessarily equate to um, being weakened either. And now Arrow's like, well, it does, but he's not actually supporting why. So why? is there... Because it doesn't have any evidence, no bearings on it. It's just nonsense. Neither does Arrow, though. Arrow hasn't provided any evidence that a drain in lifespan means you're weakened either, right? Like, obviously, in the case of Guy, a drain in lifespan didn't mean shit, right? Like, he was way more powerful than he normally is, so. I gave an so alternate point to you've, given, gave... You've, given your, you've given your you've given your interpretation. I've given my interpretation. Let's just move on to the next point. Sure, yeah. Okay, well, I think Six Pads won that then. Because yeah. right now, they both, uh, basically, what we have is the evenly matched statement, so that supports Six Pads on its own, and let's just say that since neither of them really provided evidence for their interpretations in this case, they both have, like, differing interpretations, evidence wasn't provided, Arrow tried to argue Occam's Razor, which I don't think really was responded to, but, um, let me look, hold on really quickly. Clone Jutsu is like shortening his lifespan. Yeah, that's what he says. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, I think he's referring to the fact that he was just throwing away these chunks of chakra, which would shorten his lifespan because he's gonna get beaten quicker. No, I think you. I think that's just too much assumption. I'm gonna invoke the Aquas Razor. Mm hmm. You're adding too many assumptions. I really clicked at the perfect time. But even if it is shortening his lifespan, right, is this taking away from, like, um... Okay, yeah, like, never mind. So, yeah, that was just in the context of the shortening lifespan point, and uh, Six Pat Steel manned him. So, all he said was... So, Arrow was saying that his interpretation of the feat... Um, so, yeah, I think his, uh, six, uh, like, uh, Arrow's point of using Occam's Razor there did go through. I don't think it was a correct way to use Occam's Razor. Or do you actually think Six Pads was fine in that scenario? I don't think he was using any more assumptions. Um, but he steel manned it anyway and then accepted it and just said, okay, even if it is draining his lifespan, that doesn't equate to uh, being weakened either. So Arrow didn't use Occam's Razor after that point. So, yeah, even though he did technically win that point, I don't think it helped him because he got steel manned. So. How do you think Wait, can you give me another instance where it, where they no because it uh, any right. you've, given, get, you've given you've given you that up to whoever okay. judges sure okay so uh we, that was the speed point uh do you, what what else do you want to go over uh what does Hirzen do against Sukiyomi uh, he just wouldn't look in his eyes he would have mastered anti sharing non techniques like oh, God why I'm not because he knows all techniques in the elite village uh can you actually send me that statement right quick. Can you reach her? Or scans too, rather. It says it at the bottom. At the bottom. I wish he could read it out loud because we can't see his blurry ass screen. You need to re adjust your OBS setting six pads. Um, yeah, this comes from his reputation as like um the professor. The professor called right? it. Ha. What? He's, no, it says because it, it says he uses all techniques. Yeah, and that comes from his professor reputation, like Orochimaru says. Where does it say that at? Where does it say that? Uh, here, I'll grab it for you. Hang on. Oh, no. Hello? Yeah. Am I cutting out? I think. Indeed, guy. What, what? Okay. Yeah, this is this. Yeah. So what? What is the? What, what is the problem? Okay. When did he gain this title? 
And did Guy, like, have the technique developed when you gained it? Hello? Yeah. Am I cutting out? I think I cut out. What'd you say? Okay, I said, when did he gain this title, and did Guy have the technique developed when he gained it? I don't know. <laughs> the extremely rare technique of looking at someone's feet. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, that's only shown, like, after Harrison's dead. So, I mean, I guess you can argue that um, that statement is only applicable to what Harrison had seen when he was alive. So, I guess it is a new technique. So, this is an argument to be made, even though it's a really weird one. Um, we can just see how it goes, though. Yeah, how do you know Guy developed the technique? Are you the, are you asserting that Guy created Guy that? says he made it. No, he didn't. Okay, so even here, like even if whether or not he did say it or didn't say it, right? Let's suppose that he didn't say it, Arrow shifting the burden of proof here. Because right now he has to prove that Hirazan knows the technique, right? Um, and it's possible that Guy did create it or someone else created it after Hirazan's death. And we just don't know whether or not it did right so right now we're under the assumption that or the presumption that um guy didn't create it okay so let's suppose that guy didn't create it and we just don't know when it was created so it's possible for it to be during heroes in lifespan and it's possible for it not to be during her heroes in lifespan it's also possible that it wasn't created in the leaf villages which is what the statement of heroes and know, knowing every technique pertains to so, based on all those possibilities, not having any evidence to back them up, they're all equally valid. Um, so, it is Arrow's onus to prove that that technique was developed in the Leaf Village during his lifespan when he was known as the Professor. Okay? The Arrow has to show that, or he loses the point. He did. No, he did it. I gotta prove it. Oh, if, if Six Pads does show that Guy created the technique, um, that doesn't necessarily prove he didn't create the technique when he was, like, a kid, I guess, when Hiruzen was alive. Um, but... It does kind of suggest that he did it later in life, so I do think this is a defeater to Arrow's argument, depending on how he argues the interpretation of it. I'm sure I can he tell you he didn't. If he if he if he doesn't say he didn't, if he doesn't say, I'll admit I'm wrong. But I'm sure he said okay. like I okay. developed. Yeah. Statement, if you guys. I have the statement if you guys need it. Oh, send it. Yeah, please. It's in scans too. You had to tell me the obvious. I've already mastered counter strike yeah. and run techniques for all my problems. This is the. Does they thing. create it then? It doesn't. Strange. Okay. Well, why do you think it uh, here's in like employs these in combat or applies these in combat? I guess he knows them all. So why does that mean he applies in a combat? He didn't use like he he didn't. okay. So six pads shouldn't have gave that point up. Um, he did say I. I mean, he did just give it up. So there's no point. He just dropped it. So I guess Harrow wins that point. But he could have definitely just argued there that um, regardless, he doesn't know if Harrison knew that technique. So we don't know when the technique was created. So six pads basically just gave that point up for no reason. He could have pushed that further. Um, but now he's gonna argue like a combat. Um, like a combat cannon argument where he's arguing that here's and wouldn't necessarily use the technique in character or hasn't shown the capability to, which is fine. He hasn't. So he didn't use like, I guess he, if, he, if he's fighting Itachi, he would use what was the best. Mm. Well, I think he doesn't, he, we haven't seen him apply them in combat because we haven't seen here's and fight somebody with the showering gun. Okay. So then how do you know he would apply it in combat? Because he has them, because he would he would use anti. Okay, so just saying he has them isn't a good argument because there's tons of situations where someone does have a technique but still doesn't think to use it right. Like even smart characters do that sometimes. Um, so like even though here is and is smart, like he just might not think to use a certain technique or things like that happen all the time. He might be flustered. Um, there's tons of things that play into whether or not a character is going to use a specific technique. Um, it just depends on how Arrow argues this, because he could argue that Hiruzen is usually someone who keeps cool, um, and someone who is intelligent enough to do that, uh, but it just depends on how Arrow argues this. Six Pads made this way harder on himself. He could have shot this in the ass right from the beginning. Guy's showing gun tactics, because he knows what to use to counter certain techniques. Why? Right, maybe he's just so cocky and missed Itachi that he just didn't feel like he needed Alright, do you think he's so cocky? Okay, prove that. Prove, prove that assertion. Mm -hmm. I didn't assert anything. Prove that... 
Okay, so if you so then I'm not asserting. I'm not saying prove that assertion. Okay, so it wasn't an assertion. He's just bringing up a hypothetical where he's like, here's and could be cocky, and that would cause him to not um, use the anti or the counter sharing gun techniques, right? Um, and then Arrow saying prove that. I don't know what he means by prove that. Like prove that possibility exists, because all he's doing is bringing up a hypothetical where or an interpretation where here's and might not use the technique, right? Because Right now, what Arrow is trying to say is is that uh, Hearsen would have the technique, um, so he would use it. And uh, right, Six Pads is bringing up counter possibilities where that might not always happen, right? Like there could be a possibility where someone is too cocky in this scenario to use a certain technique, right? Which doesn't really fit with Hearsen's character. Um, if Arrow brings that up, I might agree with him here. But um, Pearson's not a cocky fighter. He's basically never cocky in the entire series, so I don't think that uh, possibility is likely at all. But um, it is a possible. It's Arrow has the possibility right now that he does use the technique, um, and because he has the technique, or he or he's arguing that he will use the technique because he knows the technique, which is a possibility. He might use it because he knows it would be effective, but he might not as well. It just depends on what's more likely, right? And they're not really arguing that right now. He's, like, asking him to prove something. It's unclear what he's asking him to prove. Saying he's so cocky. Then if you're not saying he's so cocky, he wouldn't use it. Then I'm what? Do you, then, is, then why are you talking? I'm saying this is also a possibility. Yep. Okay, so you're appealing to possibility. No. So I'm gonna okay, so appeal to possibility is not this, right? So an appeal to possibility is basically when you say something is the case because it's possibly true, true or probably true. Okay, I know that one off the top of my head because um, arguing over fiction a lot deals with a lot of possibility. So um, what possibility means or like an appeal to possibilities when you're asserting that something is is the case. This is 100 percent what is happening because there's the because it's possibly true. Right. Or it's probably true. Um, when arguing about things like this, we're not arguing that this is 100 percent what's going to happen or this is 100 percent what happened. Right. They're arguing interpretation and possibility. So right now Arrow is holding a possibility, too. So he's arguing for a possibility. He's not arguing just for some definitive fact. Like he doesn't know if Hirzen will do this or not. He has no idea exactly what Hirzen will do. We don't know how he would perform this fight exactly. We don't know like every strike that he'll throw. We don't know if he'll use the counter shawing out techniques. You can argue it's likely that he will, right? But it's still possible he won't, even if it is likely. Okay. So, um, even in the case of Arrow, he's arguing from a possible case, not necessarily a 100% guaranteed case. So, for him to criticize Six Pads for bringing up a counter possibility, I don't think is valid. Uh, it's, it's just like an appeal to possibility doesn't fit this at all. He's, Six Pads is not claiming this is 100% the scenario that's happening, so it's not. In fact, I'll just go ahead and pull, pull up. An appeal to possibility or, or pro, to probability or appeal to possibility is the logical fallacy of taking something for granted because it would probably be the case or might be the case. Um, that's a little too big brain. Let's try and find a more dumbed down one. Something can go wrong, therefore something will go wrong, right? This is obviously not the case, but this is not what Six Pads is doing. He's not saying that Hirzen won't do this because he's too cocky. Hirzen won't use counter sharing gun techniques because he's too cocky. He's saying it's possible Hirzen won't use counter sharing gun techniques. That's all he's saying. Um, Arrow is saying, however, um, he knows the technique, therefore he will use it, right? So you can argue, actually, that um, Arrow is using an appeal to possibility in this scenario, and he's just like shifting it over to six pads. <laughs> Weird, but you know, whatever. No, because I haven't. You are. Anything. No, no, no. Okay, so you're not claim. Are you claiming something or what? Are you trying to counter the point or not? Yeah, I am because you're saying. Okay, that he, with what you're you're trying to counter my okay, point? Okay, what? okay. Listen, listen. You're saying that Hirzin will employ these in combat, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm saying asking. he has, I said that he has counter showering gun techniques. Okay, so are you not claiming he employs them in combat? I said that he has counter showering gun techniques. That's fine. If you're not going to say that he, like, applies them in combat, then it doesn't matter. I'm saying that he has counter showering gun. I don't know why Arrow repeated this three times. Six Pads addressed it twice already. Yeah, he is fine with you saying that he has counter showering gun techniques. What he's asking you to prove is whether or not he would use them in combat. 
you saying that he would not imply them in combat? No, <laughs> I'm not saying. Anything. Okay, then, 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 why are you bringing it up? Okay, why, but are, you Errol, to, why Errol, are you trying why? to put words in my mouth? Errol. All I said was that he has counter. Oh yeah, I guess Arrow just did all of that to push for a gotcha, just because like a six pads didn't verbatim get what he said. Um, that's basically a non-point though, so it's whatever. I definitely like. That's I definitely. I definitely. So like, you agree with that? You. Wait, I'm no, no, wait. That. Yeah, That's yeah. All I'm saying. I definitely misunderstood you. I thought you were saying that he would. But okay. If you're not saying so that then he's let's going. Move on. Okay, but I I'm just okay. All right, all right. But I'm saying if you're not going to say he's going to. Okay, so we're then moving why'd on. You even bring it so up? we're moving on. Okay, so he's literally just dropping his point. He was arguing it earlier. He literally did say that he would use counter strong gun techniques, but I guess he's dropping that now. So six pads, I think, won the speed point, and I guess he's winning Tsukiyome now. So, and I also think he won the weekend point as well. So, yeah, sure. so we're moving like on. Clean, clean yeah, sweep. Okay, we got, we got, cool. We got, we okay, cool. Okay, cool. Excellent. Do you have any other points that you want to bring up? Uh, not really. Do you? All right. Nope. You want to go to conclusions? Yeah, we just go to conclusions. You want to conclude? I don't think Arrow argued a win condition. He didn't argue like AP or anything, did he? Sure. Sure. So, in conclusion, I believe that I proved uh, how fast Hiruzen was. Uh, six pass never gave any quantification for how fast Itachi was. Uh, I also proved that Hiruzen has a wealth of more techniques, and he also has counter Sharingan techniques. So, I argued that through his the fact that he has counter Sharingan techniques, I believe that he would win along with him being faster and having more techniques overall. Uh, all my opponent had really as a win con was Sukiyomi. I don't think Arrow brought up most Hiroshima. of these points in the debate. Like he just kind of like skipped over it and said it in his conclusion. Mm -hmm. so it's pretty disingenuous. I like said that Itachi's over Orochimaru, which my opponent didn't seem to have a problem with. And then we like went into this point about um if here's an actually speed bliss aura or not. And I think my opponent agreed that uh that was travel speed that he blissed him with because we see that they could keep up with each other in terms of Taijutsu. Or Kinjutsu hand in hand combat, swords, whatever. Um, we then went on this point about. Uh, I will say this: like saying like travel speed, like differs from combat speed is kind of weird because people that can run a certain speed can usually react to themselves, right? Like there's scenarios where it doesn't happen, but for the most part, it's kind of like if you can't react to your own running speed, you would run into like walls and shit. And you wouldn't be able to jump or like, you know, boxers can like punch the air while they're running, you know, and to say they wouldn't scale would be like counterintuitive to that. Uh, there are scenarios where it doesn't happen, like KCM Naruto, when he first unlocks KCM, he like runs into the wall he's so quick, you know, because he hasn't like adjusted his speed properly yet. But for the most part, travel speed does scale to your combat speed. Um, I didn't really pay much attention to that point in the beginning, but if Arrow did agree that it was travel speed and not combat speed and didn't make that distinction that I just made, um, or just made that clarification that I just made, then, uh, I mean, I guess he loses that point too. But, uh, yeah. He wasn't being fatigued, and I think I provided, like, uh, reasoning as to why he shouldn't be, given that Shinobi don't have access to 100% of their chakra at all given times anyway. So a decrease doesn't necessarily have to like lead to you being weakened and an alternate interpretation to this shortening of his lifespan, right? By saying like, okay, well, maybe it's in reference to here's him being like, who here's him maybe could live to like be 80 years old, but now that he uses Jutsu, his lifespan is uh, like 75 years old, right? Um, and then I would just like go off my other, uh, my other statement about how Shinobi don't have access to the chakra in any good time. Um, I brought up Tsukiyomi as a win con. Era said that Hiruzen has out anti Sharingan countermeasures, but he didn't say he would use them in combat, so I don't see how that matters. Uh, and that's why I think I, I won the debate. Okay. Well, uh, that's the end of the debate. Um, to give my judgment, I think Six Pads won the major points. He was able to show that he, um, Atachi was fast enough to. Um, Tsukiya or Genjutsu Orochimaru or scaled above Orochimaru, therefore he would be able to also Tsukiyome and Genjutsu Hiruzen. I Era dropped the point that he wasn't able to, uh, or he dropped the point that Hiruzen had counter Sharingan techniques, apparently. So, I mean, he just loses, but at that point, the only major contention is speed and whether or not Hiruzen was weakened, um, or specifically speed, because the weakened, the weakened Hiruzen part plays into speed. 
but um yeah i think like he he wasn't actually able to adequately show that um here's in was weakened all he showed was that here's in's lifespan was taken from um which six pads pointed out that doesn't necessarily equate to speed so i think he loses that point um and then whether or not he was weakened or uh, whether or not he actually scales to Hirazen and Orochimaru. Orochimaru obviously showed like three different instances of reacting, combating Hirazen, and only one instance where he got um, tagged or specifically like outreacted by Hirazen. And in that instance, it was explained in two separate ways either travel speed or um, it was a distraction. I think the distraction is a little bit of a stronger argument there. Um, but yeah, six pads did fine. I do think he shouldn't have dropped that point towards the end of the debate with um, heroes and possibly knowing counter Sharingan techniques. Like we still don't know if he does. There's no idea if he knows those techniques, even though it is just kind of like a basic technique looking at someone's feet. It is kind of hard to look at someone's feet and fight them, right? Like, the reason Guy, and I'm, like, thinking about it, the reason Guy was able to do that was because he specifically, like, fought Kakashi over, like, decades, you know? Um, he's been, like, competing with him forever and just learned it through fighting him. But I don't think Kirizen has any of that experience, and to say he does is based on nothing. Other than that, pretty good debate. Um, let me know if you guys like this type of content. I do plan on doing it for other videos. Maybe I'll break down uh, Parrot versus Swag Kage on some of their debates, or I'm potentially going to do uh, Seth versus Trini on some of their debates as well. Um, those are just the ideas I have floating in my head. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Peace.